I am in the Model X 90D and uh, today I want to find out something. What is the range of this car and how much consumption does it have? Uh, so I'm going to drive from here to Horten and back again. It will be mainly motorways, uh, somewhat fast speed. And uh, earlier I've been doing some kind of like eco run, but this time let's do like a regular run. Uh, I think average speed should be over 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, we're going to see now uh, how... Well, yes, let's, let's just see. Uh, we're going to do some extrapolation because uh, I will stop now at 99% and uh, that's almost 100% and then we're going to run it and then we see as the, we can do some estimations of how much um, energy we have and all that. Uh, now, I did a run a couple of days ago where I measured, then I did the eco run and I measured that uh, I would get nine, oh, sorry, 80 kilowatt hours from this 90 pack. So I also did a measurement earlier and I also received only 80 kilowatt hours. I'm wondering now if it's possible to get more than 80 kilowatt hour from a 90 pack. Yeah, but uh, anyway, we have reached 99%, so off we go then. We have been driving for about half an hour and the consumption is 234. Not too bad. So uh, we still haven't uh, done too much uh, motorway, it's been a mix, but uh, from here it'll be mostly 100 and 110 kilometers per hour. So the average speed will go up and the consumption will also go up. We are now in Holmestrand and I just picked up the precious cargo. So we're gonna head back home to Oslo. Uh, the trip is about uh, what, 90 kilometers there, around there, or maybe 100-ish. So um, I average almost 100 kilometers per hour because we have a mix of uh, motorway and uh, yeah city. So I'm trying to average as, as high as possible, but uh, so far 234 is still about the same uh, consumption we had in the beginning. So we'll see how it be on the way back, back because there might be different wind conditions, but I think we don't have too much wind right now. We have some road construction here, so we are forced to drive slower. So the average speed will drop, but um, well, this is of course a mix of motorway and uh, city and everything. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Ugh. This is the problem with driving at night is that they, they do all this maintenance in the tunnels and shit. So uh, average speed is gonna drop even more now. It's been that has been lost in heat yeah just like you know when you run and you sweat a little bit well you you run and you get hot and then you sweat so the same thing here when the battery uh, has to work a little bit hard it will uh, become warmer and that heat is not counted in the trip meter so uh, the higher load you have the higher output you have the more heat loss you get what are you serious man Another detour? Oh, shit. When am I gonna get home? Alright, we are finally back home, so let's crunch some numbers. Yes, that's what we Asians like to do, right? <laughs> oh, but anyway, so if you see, we started with 99% and we ended up with 33%. So we consumed 66%. Now uh, there's some uh, round of error there, so let's assume uh, well one percent is 0.8 kilowatt hours roughly. Uh, so we can have like I don't know maybe half uh, kilowatt hour off then. But uh, let's say that okay we consume 66 uh, percent. So if you take 51.4 kilowatt hours divided by 66 times 100, you get 77. Point, yeah, almost 78 kilowatt hours. Uh, it could be like I don't know, but you know, it's not 80 kilowatt hours. 
So what the heck happened to those uh, two kilowatt hours? Well, as I mentioned before, during the trip, that is heat loss due to high power output. So, um, you know, if you want to cal calculate range, don't only look at um, how many watt hour per kilometer you average and then divide it by, for instance, 80 on this car. You have to assume lower. Uh, let's let's assume maybe 77 kilowatt hours out of this pack, maybe even less, 76. It depends if it's winter, or rainy or whatever. Uh, so let, let's say 77 uh, kilowatt hours, then you take the roughly 250 watt hour per kilometer, divided by that, and you get around 300 kilometers. So 300 kilometers, almost 200 miles, is what you can expect from a 90 pack. Uh, driving like I do, you know, just following the traffic, kind of fast, you have motorway, you have uh, city, whatever, mix. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, two days ago I did a, a, an eco run and then I was able to pull out uh, about 80 kilowatt hours. So what does that tell you? Well, that uh, you have to expect heat loss and when you pull a trailer, the power output is, is even greater. And that means you have to expect even more heat loss with a trailer. Uh, um, I guess I can do another measurement next time to find out how much. But uh, I also learned yesterday that at least I wasn't able to pull out 80 kilowatt hours, I mean more than 80 kilowatt hours from, from the 90 pack. And people have been uh, like, um, they've been claiming that you can pull out more. You can pull out like 81 kilowatt hours. Well, I guess they look at the BMS and the BMS tells you, well, you have 81 kilowatt hours. But can you really trust the BMS? Because I ran out of juice a while back. Uh, the, the, the car said, okay, I have 14 kilometers left and then ooh, it stopped. So, you know, since then, I really can't trust the BMS. The BMS is just guessing based on what it thinks. So, um, I think it counts more if you do uh, like a proper measurement. Uh, you know, charge 100% until it stops and then drive it down to zero uh, to see how much you really get out of it. But of course, uh, maybe the, to the two cars I've tested, for some reason, they, they have some degradation or whatever, we don't know. So. Uh, if someone can provide me with some proof that uh, they actually pull out 80 kilowatt hour, then that would be great. I mean, sorry, that you can pull out more than 80 kilowatt hours. Let's say 81 or 82, then I would love to see that. Yeah, if not, then, you know, pick or it didn't happen, happen right? <laughs> yeah, all right, so that's it for now then. So talk to you guys later.